in the diversification of life we will be discussing about trends and radiation so the progress and trend what are the meanings of it and what is the difference so progress means the change with the envir in with improvement in evolution there is a change and it is the change with the improvement uh, an organism it is not adapted to its life or its environment it will change with, in the course of evolution and it will be more adept in the later forms uh, of the species a new species will form which will have the necessary adaptation and that is a progress an organism which was less developed developed into a more progressed and more developed organism the later forms have to be demonstrably better than their predecessors and that that's what we discussed and what is the evolutionary trend an evolutionary trend is one way change in some features or the feature so uh, progress is as a whole as a species but an evolutionary trend is that there one there is one feature and it is continuing to increase and increase for example we will be discussing these things later but the human brain for example we are the earlier apes they did not have so much developed brain but today we have much more advanced and conscious brain so a trend in human evolution has been for increasing the brain size and it is classed as a progress if it is assumed that a larger brain means higher intelligence and so greater evolutionary adaptability so the human brain it is a progress if we are talking about the larger brain so larger brain is a progress because the earlier life forms early apes they did not had an advanced brain but we have been progressing in the course of evolution and we have much more advanced brain so uh, and what about the trend uh, this is a trend in horse evolution and this trend is for increasing size and loss of toes among horses if you see for the last 60 million years eocene oligocene miocene pliocene quaternary and epoch the four foot and hind foot of the horse the equidae family these are decre decreasing the number of toes and increasing the size of them so you can see as we uh, come towards today in the epoch there is one toe as compared to the four toes in the forefoot and one toe as compared to the three toes in the hind foot so that means there is increased uh, and this is a trend this shows the difference between a trend and a progress so does horse evolution show progress even though it the trend is so that there is in decreased toes and increase uh, in the size but does it show some progress it is harder to argue why because there were small camouflaged forest dwell uh, dwelling hyracotherium uh, of the eocene they were better than the plain dwelling larger modern equus so the smaller one which were able to camouflage are better because they were having uh, some uh, they were able to uh, uh, camouflage themselves from the predators as compared to the equus of modern equus so but again this is not the only factor which tells us that if a species is progressing or not maybe the hyracotherium is not as much advanced as compared to the equus today so the progress it is debatable whether uh, the earlier life form has progressed to a later forms or not so and long and uh, the, what is the idea of progress a long and checkered history again i have as we have discussed in case of horses evolution that we cannot say that if species has been uh, progressing or not evolution is progressive only in that advantages or adaptations may be inherited by the offspring of the successful parent so successful parents may be having some such adaptations which were which were not very good as well just because they can reproduce uh, successfully and then there comes the adaptive radiation one of the classic observation of large scale evolution a uh, radiation is when a clad expands relatively rapidly the adjective adaptive happening because of some particular adaptations in the clad so adaptive radiation means that the radiation took place just because they had one particular feature 
that ensured that they were their parents were able to uh, produce more successful offspring and that adaptive uh, 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 feature that led to the more successful uh, mating abilities in their offspring as well and so on so number of these species increased and that is called adaptive radiation and then there are the patterns and processes patterns are observations of disappearing and appearances of the species while the processes are hypotheses that seek to explain the pattern so um, patterns may be that uh, one species has came into being another species has gone and went extinct for example the pattern of uh, which was uh, uh, lost for the last 65 million years is that the mammals are on the rise while before 65 million years that was the uh, uh, the dinosaurs that were on the rise and processes are what are explaining these uh, rise or fall of the species and then there comes the biotic replacement bio means life so biotic re replacement means the replacement of one species an obvious feature of the history of life there are times when one group of plants or animal replace another right and the replacement of brachiopores by bi um, bivalves is famous example so we have seen about the brachiopores and bivalves uh, brachiopores were the ancient group and bivalves were much more advanced they were having the same niche same eating habits but bivalves were much more advanced and they wiped out the brachiopod and took their place in the uh, in that niche in the marine environment and this is called biotic replacement 